Hey guys, and welcome back to part 21 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Now, one of you guys, a viewer of the video, the previous video, Fallout New Vegas part 20, mentioned that uh, I have overlooked something. Well, basically there are two things I've overlooked. So we're back, <laughs> we're back in Fallout. Uh, Fallout. We're back in Vault 11. Of all the places you've taken me? Now, there are a bunch of bodies no, here. Not my favorite. And, uh, we <laughs> kind of overlooked this, uh, terminal. How can you overlook something like this? But, um, you sort of download the security recording, and that will shed some light on what transpired here in the vault. So, let's listen to this. Are we really gonna do this? It's open, we could just leave. I could, not after that. We don't deserve to leave. A shining example. That's what it called us. But we were, we did what we were supposed to. Not by a long shot. Anybody would have done what we did. You ask me? That's exactly the problem. Now let's get on with this. I'll go first. Wait, wait. People should know what happened. They could learn from it. If there's anyone out there at all, I hope they never have to find out. Ready, Harry? Yeah. No, 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 wait! Right, well, that probably says it all. A lot of people were killed here. Because becoming overseer here wasn't a good thing. You were kind of sacrificed to become overseer. So, a bunch of people died. Now, The crazy part is that if you became overseer, I hate vaults. They are so then uh, you had to be sacrificed at some point. So nobody wanted to become the overseer. Makes sense. Guess that was the rule here. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the overseer's office just quick. You can tell from the vote stone for overseer. Yeah. There were a bunch of candidates, and there was this lady who didn't want her man to become overseer, so she killed a whole bunch of them. So she'd be a murderer, and nobody is going to hire a murderer for overseer. That's sort of the idea. Let's go down. And um, somebody said in the comments that. Um, the Overseer actually has a secret entrance. So we're gonna follow up on that, see if that's true. Didn't know that. Could very well be. If so, after- oh, look at that. Where did you come from? We'll, uh, we'll probably go to another... Vault. Now what about that entrance? There should be a secret entrance. I could not log into this. So what about the, a secret entrance then? Doesn't make a, a lot of sense though. Huh. Tripwire. I don't see it. I don't get it. Damn it. What? What about the secret entrance? I don't see no entrance. This is one way to get into it. This. Oh man. 
I don't see it. I got you now. You're not getting away from me. Oh, somebody is just messing with me? Is that it? Are you guys messing with me? Watching this video and saying, hmm, they didn't let him go back to the overseas office just to pain him? I don't... I don't know. Oh, right. Here's the, the part where you can go underwater. Oh, well, we will do that. Radiation suit on. Like, we can go this way. Alright. This goes up. We've been here. Oh! Well, well, well. Well. I guess we found woo, something new here. It says, uh, reactor. Interesting. I didn't know it was here. Makes sense. But the vault should have an in, uh, a reactor. Lunchbox. These doors look different from the regular doors. Oh. Ran out of ammo. Right, well, we got an Uzi. Well, we haven't been here. So I guess that's new. Ah! go missiles what should it do with missiles I'm not gonna carry around missiles but there are quite a few uh, ammo crates here well, that's good okay interesting This room is a little bit flooded here. Oh, radiation is getting to me. Let's wear the radiation suit. Okay. Interesting. Should I go down here? Oh, crap. Oh, we got it. Oh, geez. I'm dying here. Help me out. <laughs> no. Oh, right here we go. Me. Oh crap! I should wear my radiation suit. Obviously. Okay. Oh, there's a stim pack. Always good. Now. We can go this way. Check out these boxes. There's some ammo. And nothing. Alright, so. Now we're getting somewhere. So consider this uh, a bonus episode. Ah! Uh. So you guys know that I listen to your feedback. Bring it. Got the ammunition crates right here. All right. Whoa. 
Oh crap. Uh, Lawbringer. No. Uzi. That's got a, quite a few. There you go. Alright, so this room was flooded, I recall. Alright, okay. Now here's where we go deeper into the reactor. So we better save. Do this quickly. See if we can actually make it, I don't know. I'm dying here. Sensor module. I need that, actually. Fortunately, I've saved. I need those sensor modules. modules. And I'm gonna try this again. What about this room? Oh lord. I'm running out of... Oh no. Oh! <laughs> I, bar I cannot make it. I just can't make it. I'm so curious what to find. All right, well, well, just help me out. Come on, I can make it. I should make it. Oh no, no you die. You can't make it. If you don't have a breather or something, you're not gonna make it. You're not going to make it. You're not gonna make it. It's period. I'm not. I, I don't have what what it takes. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, almost. I want to know. I want to know. Is there no way I can do this? Come on, let me. Let me do this. Let me do it, okay. We gotta do this one more time. Wait for it, go! Go, 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 go! Go, go! Please! No, you can't make it without a breather, something. Forget it. Forget it. I don't have it. I just don't have it. Maybe there's more. I don't know. I walk around and something like this. I don't know. No way. Oh, actually, look at that. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Now that's interesting. Maybe I can make it if I do it from this point and continue onward. It's that door. Okay. Oh, it's up there. Okay. That's that door, okay. This is a bit, uh, I, I'm aware of that. It's a bit uh, disorienting, but I'm gonna try this again now. This should work now. Oh yeah. Oh, good lord. We made it. Look at that. Okay. Now what's the reward for... <laughs> getting here. Um, a leather armor. Oh, I'm dying from radiation poisoning. It's really bad. Let's take... Let's use the... Um, Right away. Oh, good lord.
Well, I don't see a secret entrance to the overseer's office. Oh, now I die. Really? Gotta be kidding me. Let's try this again one more time. I'm sorry if this bores you. I am sorry. All right. I'll use uh, stim packs. Got you now. You're not getting away from me. Interesting. This goes to some kind of um, let's see, rat right away. This goes up. This looks like it's reactor. Okay, so we're back here, but we haven't checked this out. I hope there's some some kind of treasure here. Come on. Something that's really helpful. <laughs> oh no. No. You just circle around. You come back here. Oh no. That sucks. Uh, okay. Oh, we haven't checked this one. Oh. Oh, what's this? The bad speech of Gus Olsen. Interesting. Node edit. Gotta check that out. According to the text of the speech, it was given or scheduled to be given in the Vault 11 atri atrium on overseas election day. The terminal password is Betty. Okay. Oh, we got a password. This could be interesting. Um, like if I'm not mistaken, terminal. Gus Olson, prepared speech. Uh, good afternoon. Each year is appointed the task of a ombudsman, and not only to officiate the election, but to chronicle it it in the hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term and walked to his death in the chamber beneath his office and the has become still, this one day some excavator from humanity or perhaps some yet unknown race of super beings might find our rec records and incorporate them into the historical canon. But lately it's occurred to me that's not really why I think the real reason we want to do it is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there's an answer to all of this, or perhaps there will be one when the historical uh, records are completed and the whole story is told. We want it to make sense to understand why the vault's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice to fully comprehend why we continue to have these elections despite the and veteran's corruption has plagued it from what must be decades by now. A simple time when elections meant shaking hands and kissing babies, but now with the rise of the voting blocks and this infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling, and God knows what else, we want to know why. We have been through the archives and I can tell you, you won't find an answer here. You'll find an account of the first overseer who entered the vaults as the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have to take place, but he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely 
he would have foreseen the citizens' anger when he broke the news. Surely he would have guessed that they would want to choose to sacrifice democratically in a way that we citizens were accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds and that his name would be on the top of the polls and etc. etc. So as overseer you were sacrificed. I only wonder if there are no answers to be found and we are just going along with this because we don't see another choice. Nevertheless, I still hold upon hope that we can find one. All right. That's sick. I expected something like this, but it's still sick. It is still sick. So that sort of explains why nobody wanted to be overseer. Is that man certain death at some point? So this lady took upon her to basically kill the competition because she did she didn't want her husband to become overseer. Interesting. Now let's go back to that overseer's office because we might have a password that we can use to um we might be able to use that not this way, that way on his terminal. This this could be interesting. I'm not sure if I can even hack those terminals because I, I I probably don't have the skill to do that. But um yeah, we'll just try. Let's see, atrium, yeah. Okay, that was caved in. Utility. I guess we've seen that. So the overseer's office must be around here somewhere. Here we go. To the right. And uh here. Can we now use the terminal because we have the password? Yeah! And the password now? Cool. Overseas order. Effectively, immediately the stationary selection process of the overseas hereby ended. In okay, we've seen that before. Open the sacrificial chamber. Where's that? Whoa! It's right here under my feet. Oh, that's freaking amazing. Look at that. Okay. Treasure! Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. Okay, so the overseers were sent down here to die. Oh lord, what's gonna happen? If we go into the light. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. I will. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. All right, let's watch this. Happy trails. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier. And remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. 
And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now. And imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. What? <laughs> oh, craziness. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's try this again. Um, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, my friend is down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Don't we have, like, pulse mine? No. Uh, laser. Oh, Jesus crap. How do I <laughs> survive this? Um, Stimpak? This this is a crappy gun. Jeez. I'm shooting in the wall. Here we go. That's one. Good. Looks like they're all dead. But this is great. This is environmental storytelling the way you the way it should be done. I mean uh What a mess. Look all these bodies here. They must be they must have been overseers. I reckon, although... How did they end up here? Instead of dead here on the floor. Oh, they were just dragged here, probably. And left to rot. Guess that's the thing. Of all the places you've taken me? Damn it, I don't have, uh... Not my favorite. That took a lot of uh, health from me. Okay, what is this? Override the lockdown. Complete. System recording. Vault 11 solution. An automated response. Vault 11. Okay. Let's listen to that tape. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life 
is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at Vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. Oh, wow. All right, I know you can hear me, so listen up. There's five of us left. Five out of I don't know how many. So it's over. We've talked and it's over. We're not going to send anybody to die anymore. So shut off our water, our gases, or do whatever it is you're programmed to do. But we're done listening to you. All right. Now the story is complete. Let's raise the lockpick to Max and the rest for speech. So the story goes as follows. The people of Vault 11 were forced to believe that they were sinful people and they had to sacrifice their overseer, I believe. Each and every time they uh, selected a new one. So that explains why nobody wanted to be overseer. And they turned against each other, killed one another, and it was basically a sick test by Vault Tech. Because uh, the recording says that uh, I now value human life better. Sickening! But, again, great, great storytelling. Amazing, well, not really quest, but... Amazing storytelling around a certain location. I like that. And if it wasn't for you guys watching this... And that comment of that with the one person... I would not have experienced this, so... Highly enjoyable environmental questing here. Definitely a lot of fun. So, I'm signing off. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. I'll we'll make my way back to uh, the surface. We'll continue to the next vault. So, stick with me on my travels through the Mojave. Goodbye.